more enrapturing than the after in any case, a late revelation has caused a fundamental parting between specialists as they look at the data. Now, the much-anticipated depiction of lucidity has shown up as well-known astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson reveals the astonishing revelations in space. Join us as we research how Pioneer 1 saw 500 faint objects going through space and find Tyson's thoughts on this confusing disclosure. On June 30, 1908, a stony space rock collided with Earth, striking a city in Siberia, Russia. The solid impact of this event caused the night out of around 2,000 square kilometers. The effect of this event reverberated worldwide, causing a by and large shockwave. Research following this event instigated the distribution of the true joining between cosmology and the military by Neil deGrasse Tyson, wherein he highlighted the blend of sensible assessment and public safety, supporting for increased interest in space exploration to safeguard our planet. This significant work changed public attention to the importance of space exploration. In an overwhelming new development, NASA's space device, Wayfarer 1, has just recognized 500 dull objects cruising by in space, leaving analysts bewildered. Neil deGrasse Tyson, the surprisingly striking astrophysicist, has indeed arisen to, in any case, provide truly critical clarity as analysts dove into the mystery of these 500 unidentified objects. They accidentally saw a staggering revelation about Adventurer 1 itself. Anyway, before we examine that revelation, we must first adjust ourselves with the Pioneer 1 rocket. Pioneer 1, the rocket currently under assessment, has already journeyed an astonishing 145 billion miles from Earth. The speed at which the rocket moves through space is genuinely stupefying, covering a distance generally 3.6 times the space between the Earth and the Sun every year. Anyway, there's another side to the interstellar test. Beyond its speed, future, and distance from Earth, Pioneer 1 has sent numerous groundbreaking revelations to us, like the continuous identification of 500 faint objects in space. These are impossible to miss, wonderful things that we've never seen or recognized before. We'll get into that huge reveal in one moment. At this point, there's an inquiry that is likely at the very front of your mind, how should a rocket sent off way back in 1958 still be working and conveying such critical data? Well, the answer lies in the bewildering planning and nature that went into Voyager 1's design. One of the key unprecedented highlights that have extended its future is its double-access computer systems. Each Voyager rocket, including Pilgrim 1, was equipped with two arrangements of order computer subsystems, the Flight Data Subsystems, FDS, and the Disposition Control and Explanation Control Subsystems, AACS. This unmistakable overt repetitiveness goes about as a critical defense, allowing for unscheduled development among systems and the ability to replace flawed computer parts, thus broadening their future. The computer systems on board Adventure 1 and its twin Pioneer 2 were designed as a distributed structure with three double overt repetitiveness courses of action of computers. This overt repetitiveness ensured that, in any case of whether one system failed, the other could take over, preventing critical failures. To use limited power sources, the Pioneer instruments relied upon planned logic. This means the computer systems were designed with enhanced circuits to ensure they could work within the power budgets and time limits during the rocket's mission. But power management is critical in maintaining Voyager's integrity. The rocket's distance from the sun, where it can obtain solar energy, presents a huge challenge to boosting power efficiency. Engineers needed to consider creative approaches to conserve and improve power use. The power management strategy utilized by this critical space apparatus is truly striking. One fundamental piece of power management involves precisely shutting down unnecessary systems. Specialists carefully assess which parts or subsystems are not essential for the primary mission objectives. For instance, Radiators connected with certain scientific instruments have been deactivated. These radiators were initially intended to maintain the instruments at specific temperatures for operation. By switching them off, power consumption is drastically reduced, thereby extending the rocket's overall life. This decision to shut down unnecessary systems is not taken lightly. It requires careful evaluation of the trade-offs between power conservation and the scientific goals of the mission. Engineers work closely with researchers to ensure that deactivating specific systems does not compromise the quality or availability of scientific data. 
The goal is to find a balance that maximizes power efficiency while maintaining essential functionality. Anyway, that's not all. Voyager 1's power management systems also adjust to the changing conditions of its environment. As the spacecraft ventures farther from the sun, the available solar energy diminishes. To make up for this, Voyager 1 changes its power usage accordingly. This flexible approach ensures that available power resources are effectively allocated to support essential operations and data transmission. Over the years, there have been continuous technical advancements and improvements in power management procedures, allowing engineers to refine and further develop the power systems of the Voyager missions. These upgrades include more efficient power distribution, improved battery charging techniques, and advancements in power regulation and control. Thanks to these meticulous power management systems, engineers have successfully extended Voyager 1's operational life, enabling it to continue its scientific journey through the universe. Considering that the rocket was initially expected to last only five years, the fact that it's still sending data nearly 50 years later is extraordinary. It highlights the dedication and capability of the scientists and engineers who have worked tirelessly to keep Voyager 1 functional. Anyway, in spite of this careful planning and design, the depths of deep space remain unpredictable. Stay tuned because a critical discovery is coming. Did Pioneer 1 find something? What did Pioneer 1 find that staggered specialists? While there are several broad speculations for what Voyager could have initially encountered meteoroids, space rocks, and space trash, there is always the potential for amazing revelations. One such astounding twist in the Pioneer 1 mission was the spacecraft's detection of 500 confounding objects. This discovery caused a considerable stir and raised significant concerns among the scientists handling the mission. These strange signals and peculiarities in the data came as a total shock. Voyager 1 began sending telemetry data back to Earth, but the readings were odd, and there was no clear explanation for what was going on. The specialists marked this inconsistency as a mystery. Anyway, despite some mistaken transmissions, Voyager 1 continued to answer orders from mission control, though with a slight delay in communication. This was confusing and it became a mystery. What was particularly puzzling about this irregularity was that it didn't set off Voyager 1's built-in fault protection systems. These systems are designed to activate when anomalies are detected, setting the spacecraft into a test mode that allows engineers to investigate and analyze the problem. For this case, however, Voyager 1 continued its operations without entering test mode, adding to the mystery. After thorough assessment, the anomaly was traced back to the Attitude and Control Subsystem, AACS. The AACS plays a pivotal role in orienting the spacecraft and controlling its movements. With a 22-minute delay for a radio transmission to travel one way between Earth and Voyager 1, this critical time delay presents challenges for continuous communication and command execution. Despite these challenges, the mission team successfully implemented the fixed-to-course telemetry data to the onboard computer. However, the process was not without its complexities, given the tremendous distance between Earth and Voyager 1. Indeed, even basic communication commands took time to reach the spacecraft, and the subsequent response had a huge delay. Regardless, the fix was finally executed, and telemetry data began flowing through the correct channels, providing clearer and more accurate information about the space environment surrounding Voyager 1. With the irregularity settled, investigators could now focus on examining the data accumulated by the spacecraft. As scientists dug into the telemetry data, they made a dumbfounding discovery. Among the 500 unidentified objects identified by Voyager 1, there was a subset of things displaying highly unusual characteristics. These objects displayed erratic movements, irregular shapes, and unique phantom marks, unlike any known cosmic anomalies. At first, dismissed as instrumentation errors or noise, further investigation uncovered consistent patterns in the behavior of these odd objects. They seemed to defy conventional explanations and challenged existing models of celestial mechanics. Scientists were perplexed by the nature and origin of these mysterious objects. The discovery of these baffling objects sparked serious discussion and speculation within mainstream science. Some researchers proposed bold theories, including extraterrestrial intelligence or advanced drive systems, while others maintained a more skeptical stance, calling for more conventional explanations. 
Given these discoveries, Neil deGrasse Tyson weighed in on the significance of Pioneer One's findings in a series of interviews and public statements. Tyson emphasized the importance of maintaining scientific rigor and caution when exploring the unknown. He cautioned against rushing to make premature judgments and urged scientists to conduct thorough investigations before drawing definitive conclusions. Tyson's measured response to the discovery of the confounding objects helped temper sensationalism and promoted a more cautious approach to scientific inquiry. He stressed the need for continued observation, data collection, and analysis to unravel the true nature of these perplexing anomalies. Shortly after the initial discovery, scientists around the world ramped up efforts to study the peculiar objects identified by Voyager 1. Observatories, space telescopes, and ground-based instruments were mobilized to observe the regions of space where the anomalies had been detected, gathering additional data to supplement the space-based observations. Step by step, a clearer picture began to emerge as scientists worked to solve the puzzle of the strange objects. Through careful analysis and collaborative research efforts, they uncovered clues about the object's origins and behaviors. While many questions remain unanswered, each new discovery brought scientists closer to understanding the nature of these cosmic mysteries. As the investigation into the strange objects identified by Pioneer One continues, researchers remain focused on unraveling the secrets of the universe. Their dedication to exploration, discovery, and understanding serves as a testament to the human spirit of curiosity and inquiry. In the end, the discovery of 500 unidentified objects by Pioneer One represents a milestone in the history of space exploration. It has challenged our understanding of the universe and opened new avenues for scientific inquiry. By carefully studying these mysterious anomalies, scientists hope to uncover the secrets of the universe and expand our knowledge of its complexity and diversity.